Hello, welcome to lesson five. Here we're going to continue working with if statements, but we're going to learn how to use what we call nested if statements. And all that means is that you can have an if statement inside of another if, uh, and you can have that inside of another if. You can have as many ifs as you need inside of one another to control the program the way in which you need to control it. Um, there's really not a great way to explain why you would need to do this without just showing you a quick exam example. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's create, for instance, a variable, an integer. Let's call it the temperature, right? And let's, for now, let's set the temperature equal to uh, 95 uh, degrees, okay, 95 degrees. And we're going to do this in terms of Fahrenheit here. So that's, that's going to be a pretty warm summer day, for, for instance. Next, let's create a Boolean, which remember are true false type of variables. And let's call it uh, the Boolean we're going to name Sunny. And we're going to say that right now it's true. So right now we're with these variables, we're just creating some variables. One of them is the temperature. We're saying it's 95 degrees outside. One of them is a true false statement. So we're saying Sunny is true. So right now it's, tr it's sunny outside and the temperature is 95 degrees. And so what we want to do is create some if statements to print this back to the screen and um, kind of illustrate the nested if structure of what we can do. Now we can do a lot of what we're going to do here in other ways. You'll find that a lot in programming there's five different ways to do anything. What I'm trying to do here is show you the core things you need to give those tools to you so that you'll be able to then figure out how you'd like to accomplish something. So let's put an if statement. Let's do something easy real quick. Let's say uh, if the temperature, uh, let's say if the temperature is greater than 90 degrees, uh, let's open up a block here. This is an if block. We have opening and curling, closing curly braces. We'll do system.out.if dot dot 